Hey, Brandon. Hey, I just... Oh. 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 a little super... Oh. Oh. Just a little help. Oh. <laughs> what is up? Oh. Oh. Okay. No, 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 I don't need your help. Just trying to get trying to get under the door. Uh-huh. Hey. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Uh-huh. Look at that. Sable is all good. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is wet. Just Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yeah, I, listen, I want to apologize to everyone in advance. I scheduled my doctor's appointment before the show, but I've been on hold for like two hours. Do you have a doctor's appointment on your computer? Yeah, 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 it's a virtual appointment with a faultologist. A faultologist? Yeah, yeah, it's a doctor that deals with people who have a comedic falling condition. Ah, uh, wait, I'm sorry. You said a comedic falling condition? Yeah. Yeah. CFC? Mm. Uh, it, it's when someone can't help falling down for the sake of comedy. I, I've struggled with it my whole life. See? Uh. Oh, a little help. Oh. 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 That was all today. I know. Oh, uh. <clears throat> uh, yes, Dr. Van Newton, hello. Oh, uh, it's Mrs. Van Newton. I've been sued before for letting people call me doctor. <laughs> You know, we're still fighting to have the medical board acknowledge faultology as legitimate medical science. What? That's incredible. Can you believe that? Mm. Well, I'm here to tell you that CFC is a real thing, and I, I'm hoping that you can help me out. Uh, well, John, I reviewed your file, and based on my diagnosis, you were not suffering from comedic falling condition. What? That's th but I fall so much. I'm sorry. You're just clumsy. Uh, uh really? Well, well, what should I do about that? Well, I'm afraid the clumsiness can't be cured. But I am sending someone over who can help. He should be there any moment. Thanks, Dr. Uh, uh, Miss Van Newton. My pleasure. Wow. Wow, indeed. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Oh, hey. Wow, hey man, come on in, have Don't a seat. Don't mind if I do. Yes. All right, so uh, tell us who you are and what you know. My name is Kenny and I'm a stunt performer. Oh, like for TV and movies? That's right. Okay, so Miss Van Newton said you could help me with my falls? Totally, half of what I do is falling. Oh, doesn't that hurt? Oh, it can. And before I learned what I was doing, I did get hurt. In fact, my nickname is Crack Rib Kenny. <laughs> but then I learned how to fall correctly, and it made a huge difference. Oh, well, that's great. Hey, can you teach me how to do a stunt fall? Absolutely. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, first, kids, don't try this at home or the church or the car, wherever you are. We're trained professionals. Got it? No, seriously, I'm asking. You got it? Okay, good. <laughs> With every fall, there is some risk. So you should learn how to fall the right way. Mm -hmm. That way, when you fall, you can get back up. Today, we're going to do a standing back fall. Oh, a standing back fall. Okay. That's right. So the key here is to step back so you soften your blow. You're going to go to your bottom. Keep your body rolled, chin tucked, 
and then you're gonna snap your palms facing back. Okay, so what does that look like when it's all put together? Looks just like this. Whoa! Oh, wow, are you okay? Ah, Let totally me... fine. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 I wanna try. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so first, step back. Not so stiff. Okay. Keep your knees soft. Right. Keep your knees soft. Soft knees, like a ripe avocado, kids. Soft knees. All right, let's do it. Okay. Step back. All right. Step back. Keep your chin tucked. Chin tucked. Roll your body. Roll my back. Let your momentum carry you. <laughs> and palms down. Palms down. All right, that's it. Now just get back up and do it all at once. Back to I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Step back. Soft knees. Chin tucked and. Not bad. Hey, awesome. That's great. So let's put it to the test. How do we put it to the test? Claire. Claire. Ah! Oh, excellent form. Oh, thank you. That'll do it, Claire. <laughs> yeah. All right, well done. Am I cured? No, you're still going to fall down, but okay. now you know the right way. Hey, you know what? That's awesome. Thanks, Kenny. No problem. Hey, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen. Kellen! Hello, gents. How's it going? Not too shabby. You got a story for us today? I do indeed. Take it away. Our story today comes from the 11th chapter in the book of Hebrews. The writer wrote, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. That is what the people of long ago were praised for. And then you can read a list of some of those people of long ago. Some people who had faith in God even when times were tough, like Noah. Uh, what is happening? Pump up the volume and let it play. It's Heroes of the Faith, a historical playlist of epic proportions with classic heroes like Abel, Enoch, and Noah. And I would float 500 miles and I would float 500 more just to take a zoo across the flood and have a world that God restores. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Okay. So Noah was a hero of faith. He couldn't see what God was doing exactly, but he knew that God had been working since the beginning of time. And even though it was hard, Noah did what he knew God wanted him to do. There's also, oh, here we go. And who could forget these faithful heroes? Rahab, Gideon, Jacobed, and of course, Abraham. Now let me get this, you really want my family to move, ha ha ha, leave the land that we call Earth. Now let me get this, I'm gonna have a giant family, ha ha ha, more than the sand on the seashore. That's right. Abraham and his wife Sarah had faith too. They left their home because God made them a promise and they trusted God. They believed they would have descendants that would number the stars in the sky. Descendants like Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham's great-grandson, Joseph. Goodbye. Whatever day I've had, I believe that my faith does go on. Yes, yeah, the Lord is always here and that's right here in my heart and my faith's heart. Oh. 
Joseph kept trusting God and getting back up even though he had a hard life. But in the end, Joseph was made a leader in Egypt and during a great famine too. God used Joseph to save his entire family from starvation. Incredible, right? You think that's incredible? Then you'll love this collection. Call now, 1555-HEBREWS. All of these stories were a part of God's big story, and they can remind you that no matter how difficult things get, God is working to make all things new. It's the end of the road as we know it. It's the end of the road as we know it. It's the end of the road as we know it. God parted the Red Sea. Call now, 1555-HEBREWS, extension 11. That's 1555-HEBREWS, extension 11, to get this once-in-a-lifetime collection of all the heroes of faith. When you hear their stories and how they kept going no matter what, you can be inspired to do the same. Not sold in stores. Um, wow. I mean, that was fun. Absolutely. Those people kept going even when life was really, really hard. Well, yeah, yeah. And they trusted that God was working to make things new. They didn't even know that God would change the world forever through Jesus. They just had faith. That's right. And what's amazing is that we're all a part of God's big story, just like all of those heroes of faith from long ago. That's amazing. Thanks, Kellen. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. We're a part of an incredible story. Yeah, we are. I mean, hearing how... People have trusted God in their lives has really inspired me. Uh, you know, even though I may fall sometimes, I can trust God to help me get back up. Oh, that is inspiring. Let's inspire everyone else, shall we? Ah, yes, you bet. Reveal the question. Oh, who inspires you to get back up? That's great. We have stories of people from long ago in the Bible that got back up and kept going. Yeah, you can be inspired by Jesus. He lived a life that still gives us hope today. Or, or maybe you know some people in your life right now that inspire you to get back up. Who are they? Yeah, talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. You know, you inspire me to get back up. Oh, I, I do? Yeah. Oh, well, fall down and let me inspire you. Oh. Get back up, John. Just, just sweep that. Oh. <sighs> How's that, that? How's that? Is that good? I don't know your elbow. No. You go. Top of the board and tool you. It's just a Whoop. tumble. Oh, ah! I, I think I, I got I it. I can't do this. Oh. That was really actually kind of impressive. It's yeah. Quite amazing. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that last part was real. All right. Oh, he really fell. Yeah. Um. Oh. All right. Dog pile. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>